On this RV decor series, I'm going to show you how I've taken the balances down and went from this to this. Last year, I updated the balances by just changing out the fabric on them. It didn't cost me but like $25. When I picked out this fabric, it didn't match my previous curtains. So then I ended up buying the Turkish towels and changing all the curtains out. And I really love the Turkish towels. I don't love them with these valances. So I decided I'm just gonna take the valances down all together. I'm gonna put up curtain rods and make this look a little more like home. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm taking down the valances, I'm adding curtain rods, and I'm going to leave my blackout shades. I did have to order an extra part, but I'm gonna show you another way that you could do it if you don't want to spend any extra money other than the curtain rods. Now, I love our blackout shades. I use these all the time, so I didn't want to get rid of them to put up curtain rods. Well. The brackets that actually come with the curtains, if I used these, the curtain rod would not fit. It doesn't come out far enough. I could move it up higher, but then it would the curtains would bump around this and wouldn't look right. So I ended up having to order some extenders for the curtain rods. So this way I could adjust it and make it the right distance out from the wall and that it would look right here. Now, another option, if you don't want to order these, because I mean, this is this this added like 30 something dollars to my curtain rods and the curtain rods are pretty expensive. So adding another $30 for something that it comes with, I hated to do that. Another option would be to cut a little piece of wood and paint it black. And then you could put this on here and it would make it the right distance. My problem with this is this piece of wood that I have cut here is too small. It would need to be a bigger block because when I went to go screw into this, it ended up busting it. And I knew that was going to happen, but I tested that before I started making this video because I wanted to know if that would work. And obviously it won't. And I knew that. Now, you might could probably pre-drill a hole and then screw into it and it would probably work. But that's just a lot of extra steps that, well, I had already ordered, well, not those. <laughs> I had already ordered these and well, if I had them, I might as well use them because this was gonna be a lot of extra work. And for me, it wasn't worth the $30 difference because this, you have to cut them, you'd have to paint them, you'd have to pre-drill them and then put them up. Well that's time that I don't have. And I will link everything in the description box below. Let's talk screws real quick. If you were using the block of wood and you use the screws that came with the curtains, which it's my hair, <laughs> it's a longer screw like this. This would work if you were going through that piece of wood into the wall. If you use this length, it would be really close to coming out of the outside of the wall because in the slides, the walls aren't as thick and you might could penetrate to the outside. So make sure that your screw length won't go through your wall into the outside. Now the new brackets came with this shorter small screw that will work perfect for this. Again, you can see the thread goes all the way to the screw head, which is better for an RV wall since it's hollow. You could even put in anchors, but for me, it's never been a problem just using these kind of screws. I really probably should be taking my lamp down, but it is museum puttied to this table and I don't want to take it up and then have to put it back down. I ended up having to use the screws that I had taken out of the valance because I think being up that high, I ended up getting into some metal studs up there and I could not get these screws to go in, but I did the screws that I had taken out. So I just reused them. They were the right size. So 
So I'm trying to decide if I want to use the curtain rods, which I do have to hem the top of these because they were hidden by the valances and I left the raw edge because you could not see them. But now you're gonna be able to see them. So I'm gonna have to hem. I like it with the clips better than being on the actual rod. I just like the look of it better. So I'm gonna end up putting them all on the clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking down the valances and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you on the next one how I take the valances down. So I wanna show you how I, un how I take the valances off. I had mine up there with the tension rods and you've gotta make sure you have a square head screw if that's what kind that you have because that's what mine are. So basically that's it. It has one screw holding the valance down and then mine just has one screw holding the L brackets to the wall. We'll just take this L bracket down and then we'll be ready to install the curtain rods. I'm probably gonna end up having to order some more clips. I could make 12 work, but 18 looks better. I'm just gonna have to order some more. Now on these curtains, I don't have to, to re-hem them because the hem at the top on them are good. It was just the ones that had to be longer that I was trying to skimp and use less Turkish tiles. <laughs> so you clip the two outsides, then you go to your middle one and clip the center. Then you'll go and clip the center. Pull, clip the center. Then you got the center. And, and let me tell you, you don't have to use, you could use that many and be good. I just don't like the puckeredness of it. It's just, I don't like how big this section is. And then you go back in in between each one and do the centers of those. These clips are like painted shut sometimes. got that one and then we'll go and do this other one. There's one little thing that's gonna drive me nuts, this being in the RV. I have the things tightened down as tight as they'll go that it's supposed to hold the rod and it's just not holding it good. And then this is gonna thing around the whole time that we travel. So I ended up grabbing some nano tape and I'm going to nano tape these to the brackets so they don't move around. Nano tape to the rescue. one down a bunch more to go i have got as much as i can do today because i got to go get dressed and go show some houses to another day and i'll finish it all right i am working on these and the blinds that are above the recliners the i had forgot that the blinds were inside the valance so i need to transfer these onto the wall and I was looking and here's how you release the blind is you will press this button in and it will pop the blind off. And now I'm just gonna take this piece and move it over to the wall and attach this to the wall. This project, I'm on like day three or four. I have one more window to finish and then I'll do the end of the video. <laughs> this is ran into Labor Day. Today's Labor Day and I'm planning on posting this coming up Sunday, so I got to edit all this before Sunday. And I didn't really expect this to run into my Bill's home, because, you know, so I came out here yesterday and worked on it, which was Sunday a little bit, and then I ended up saying, I'm going out to the camper. He's like, what are you doing out there now? I'm like, um, taking down balances. These two windows ended up being 
more of a pain than I thought. So those two took me a little bit longer because the blackout shades were attached to the valances. So I had to take them out of the valances and get them on the wall. A little bit harder and it was just the finickiness because I had to get them between the window, the boxes above. I got that done yesterday finally. I've got a couple of got a hem. I'm gonna finish up this last one and then we can finish up this video Why didn't I do this sooner? I think I had lost my mind not doing it sooner. I absolutely love taking down the balances and how it looks. I wanted, the biggest reason that I didn't do this sooner is because I wanted to keep the blackout shades and I didn't think there was a way to put up the curtain rods and keep out the blackout shades. But obviously I was wrong because I did it. I would say the hardest part of this was trying to get the blackout shades up above the recliner because those were mounted inside of the valances rather than on the wall. And I had to end up getting them mounted to the wall and being able to get them to the right height and getting them to snap in with the cabinet up above it was super hard. That was a very challenging thing and it, I mean, it took me a bit to get them finally to clip in. But once I got it, they're up there and I don't have to worry about them anymore. All the curtain rods, I hung them at the height that I wanted except for the one that had the cabinet above it. Because the cabinet had a lip on it, the curtain rod wouldn't fit and I had to lower it just a little bit. And I was worried about that because the actual blackout shade is above the curtain rod. But because that area over there is all dark from the blackout shade up to the cabinet, it just looks like it's a black piece of molding or something. You can't tell that it is the actual blackout shades that are above the curtain rod. On this long window, I ended up putting three brackets because that was such a long span and I was scared that it was gonna swag in the middle, especially because I have four curtains on that particular swag. But I love how it looks with the curtains spread out this way. So the, the curtains were kinda wanting to pull apart in the middle. So I ended up taking a clip from this side and a clip from that side and taking the curtain and crossing it so that it pulls those curtains together in the middle. But the curtain rods are up and it does not affect my blackout shades. But I am so glad that I did this. This looks so good. Bill has not seen it yet. Um, he's, he said that I'm getting a little obsessive about changing things in the RV because, you know, I've changed a lot of things over the summer. I have about another month before we move the camper to its permanent spot for the winter. And I was thinking about going ahead and doing like a full tour of the RV. Let me know in the comments if that's something that y'all would want to see is a full tour and where I talk about each thing that I have modified and done to the RV. And then I can reference those videos. And if you want to see something, you can go back and check that out. Changing out the valances, taking the valances down, I feel like has made it less like a camper and more like a home. I was really trying to embrace them and I wanted to keep them because of the blackout shades, but obviously I didn't have to. I have a few series coming up where I'm going to talk about finding your style in your RV. And the other one is going to be how to make your camper feel like your home. So if those are something that you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. Till next time, like and subscribe.